Cindy out of here with my RT Endeavors. How are we doing today? I am doing pretty well. Um, today we're here to talk about the My Creative Year review. Now, as you guys know, this month the subject, or excuse me, the topic is tips. Okay, so it was so funny when I started looking um, to do a review. I was looking through some of my art books and I just happened to pull this one off the shelf and this is uh, Brave Intuitive Painting Let Go, Be Bold and Unfold by Flora Boley. Now I'm not going to actually review the book itself but when I was flipping through it I found some really really good tips from one artist to another um, in this book so I just want to give you some ideas and this is coming from Flora Boley and a lot of these are um, different, um, what do you call them, quotes that are in the book. And this is the first one that I looked at and I thought, you know, it's right on. We must be willing to let go of the life we planned so as to have the life that is waiting for us. Now that applies in art also. When you look at a page and you expect that page to look a certain way, sometimes you have to let go of that. And you just have to start thinking about letting some of your intuitive process take a hold, right? Here's another one that she said. Um, this one is by Max, oh excuse me, did I say who the last one? Yeah, the last one was by Joseph Campbell. This one is by Max Ehrman, E-H-R-M-A-N-N. -N, and it says, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Same thing in art, okay? When we work on a page or when we work on a canvas and you make those marks and you make those little scratches and you make, um, you know, you paint that face or you, you work with the eye, it's unfolding as it should. Um, does that mean that you can't not practice? No, that's not what that means. But... You know, let's let's be more let's be freer with our art. And this book, by the way, is phenomenal for um, Flora Boley. I absolutely love this book. Um, here's another quote, and this one says, "Don't ask what the world needs; ask what makes you come alive and go do it." Because what the world needs is people who have come alive, and that is by Howard Thurman. Now, there you go. Okay. A lot of people ask, well, should I paint this or how do I paint that or what, you know, what would you like to see? What we want to see as YouTube viewers, and I can talk, I'm talking about myself, but I guarantee you there's a lot of other people out there with the same opinion, is we want to see you. We want to see what makes you smile, what makes you spark, what makes you really enjoy what you're doing, what really gets into your soul, and what, what, what does your soul want to show us? That's what we want to see when we're looking at YouTube videos. Um, we want to see you. We want to see how well you come to the plate. Now this here is um, actually a, a chapter in her book and it says, Be brave. Challenge variation the spice of life. The biggest words here, be brave. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to play with your art, to play with your supplies, to enjoy what you're doing, and it leads right into this. Make, set, make yourself time to play. If you don't play in your art studio, if you only go in there to, I'm going to make one canvas and this is what I'm going to do, you're losing out a lot of, on, on a lot of the actual experience of art. The play, the fun, the mess. Some people don't like messy Personally, the, the paintier my hands are, the more fun I've had. So don't forget to make time to play. You don't always have to go in and work on a prompt. You don't always have to go in and make a complete journal page. You don't always have to go in and have a done project. You don't have to do that. Play. Get out your, get out your pens. Start doodling. Get out your um, washi tape. What can you make with your washi tape? Play around with your paints. Oh, does this color go with that color? Oh, no, that didn't look very good. Oh, these two look great together. And that's what you're going to find as you start playing in your art supplies and in your studio or in your art space. Okay. And the last one, um, oh, no, there's one more, I think. Let's, oh, there's a couple more. 
Um, this one, I just, I love this. Unfold. Finding your unique voice and allowing your paintings to be born with ease. Again, it's about the playing and it's about allowing your spirit, your feelings, your intuition, all about you coming into the paintings, right? Um, <laughs> this is about committing, okay? Commit to play. We just talked about that. Make a little bit of time for yourself to play. Even if you say, well, geez, on Sunday, I'm going to take an hour. On Sunday, for an hour, I'm going to go in and just play. I'm not, I don't have any expectations. I don't expect to finish a canvas. I don't expect to finish any work. I'm just going to go play. Okay, commit to that time. And this here is by Ann Morris, M-O-R-R-I-S-S. -R -R -S. And it says, the irony of commitment is that it is deeply liberating in work, in play, and in love. How true is that? Another quote, and this one's by Rumi, and it says, Out beyond ideas of wrongdoings and right doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. When the soul lies down in that grass, the world is too full to talk about. Now what that says to me is, go beyond those that box. I know there's a common saying that says, think outside the box. My saying is, create your own box. Your box doesn't have to be this big create it make it this big make it this big make it this big okay so create your own box and don't don't um, limit yourself I want to thank Flora Boley very much for giving me the inspiration to do this video because um, a lot of her you know the quotes in here they really spoke to me and as an artist I think they should speak to everybody so check out this book um, it's called brave intuitive painting that is not the only thing I got out of this book by the way um, she does a phenomenal book she talks about how she actually paints intuitively and what allows her to do so and it's just um, fantastic she shows you different techniques uh, a wonderful wonderful book so if you get a chance to pick this one up I strongly recommend it if you don't know who Flora Boley is, go check her out. She's phenomenal. She's a teacher and artist, and she, she just does. I love her paintings. I could sit and watch her by the hour just paint. All right? So I hope you guys, you know, get a little bit out of this. And like I said, for the review, it's all about tips this month. So um, we're going to give you as much as we information as we can and as many tips as we can. And we, you know, hope you just take them and apply to your life what you feel is you know best all right as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe give me a thumbs up and i will see you guys next month with a review thanks for watching have fun that's what life's all about and happy creating i'll talk to you soon Bye bye